While pinworms and ascarids have fairly efficient life cycles, strongles have a very unusual method of reproduction, especially considering they developed in a desert environment. Large and small strongles share identical life cycles outside of the horse, but behave very differently once they're ingested. Eggs are passed in the faecal material just like ascarids. However, unlike ascarid eggs, which remain in egg form until they are ingested by the horse, strongle eggs hatch into larvae in the manure paddy when the weather conditions are favourable. From here, they go through a series of three molts. It's the third stage that can infect the horse. Under optimal conditions, these third stage larvae can live for up to three months. For their species to survive, strongles must be ingested shortly after molting to this stage. To increase its chances of survival, the larva climbs up on blades of grass in the hope that a horse will ingest it while grazing. This is less likely under natural conditions because the horse herd that deposited this larvae-ridden manure may have migrated many miles. Strongles are extremely prolific egg layers, with each parasite producing 75 to 100,000 eggs daily. They are able to crawl up and down the blades of grass many times and bury themselves in the soil to protect against adverse weather. Small strongles also developed another unique trait, the ability to insist themselves in the horse's tissue and remain in an insisted state for a prolonged time. Unfortunately, it causes real problems for the horse. Let's examine how this insisted state helps the small strongle. When larvae are ingested, they immediately penetrate the bowel lining and begin a two to three month migration to the intestinal tract. The immune system recognises these migrating parasites as foreign invaders and sends its defence cells to deal with the invasion. Because the migrating parasites are too large and are moving, the defence mechanism can't deal with them effectively. The only result from the immune response is mucosal inflammation. If the horse already has an adult population of this parasite, there appears to be a communication between the adult population and the migrating larvae. This negative feedback tells the larvae we have enough adults laying eggs in the intestines, slow down your migration, and wait your turn to become an adult. Once the larva slows its migration, the immune system can deal with this invader and surround it with scar tissue. This is what insisted small strongles in the gut wall look like. You can see from the number of dots in this picture that there are quite a few insisted larvae just in this small piece of intestinal tract. Small strongles can remain insisted for two to three years just waiting to become adults. Any time the adult population drops, either from dying of age or from deworming, there is a wake-up call to these insisted strongles. Within seven to 10 days, a number of them will molt out of their cysts, repopulate the intestinal tract begin to mature and within six to eight weeks start laying eggs. The small strongle has developed a way to make the horse an egg laying machine and keep it that way with only occasional exposure to the larvae. Horses only have to pick up these infected larvae one time every two or three years for the small strongle's life cycle to function. Small strongles however are the most significant causes of chronic underperformance, loss of condition, feed inefficiency and predisposition to secondary disease.